Noobcast. Greetings, fellow noobs! Wow, fantastic baby. Dance, do, 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 do. woohoo! I wanna dance, 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 dance. Fantastic baby. Oh, wait. No, this is Noobcast. This is not K pop central. And we've got Blitzkrieg, the Red Zerg. Um, if this is the same Blitzkrieg, it's been a long time since he has submitted a game. Uh, this is a gold level. Uh, Zerg versus Terran. We have Stale. Stale? I'm guessing. That is a guess at the pronunciation of Staley. Stale, or it could be Staley. Lane Staley spelled his last name that way. S-T-A-Y-L-E, I believe. I could be wrong about that, too. And those of you who don't know who Lane, Stale who Lane Staley is, I weep for your musical soul. Um, yeah, welcome to Noobcast. If you're unfamiliar, I'm Blamus, and what we do here when we're not casting game pro games with uh, my five-year-old daughter is we look at your games, and we cast them, commentate them, make fun of them, learn from them, hopefully, um, largely what not to do. And it's not like, you know, we don't do day nine in depth. He is the man. What generally I point out are the things I know, which is, you know, I play at the gold level too. So um, what I know is based on what I watch in other people's streams and GSL and tournaments and things like that, picking up from the game. And that's things like positional type things, um, you know, build order type things, um, decision making. That's really, I think, the most of the thing. Most of the things that we cover here on Noobcast, as far as critique, is based on decision making and the bad things that we tend to do at the lower level. Obviously, um, the great thing about Noobcast is we understand where we are. When we're in this game, we know we're not pros. We know we're not awesome. We know our macro sucks. We know we have bad micro, uh, and we do point those things out as we see the gas steal over here from Blitzkrieg. Whether he's actually stealing the gas or just saving his drone, time shall tell. Um, because it is an, uh, a slightly odd use of seventy-five minerals when there's already marines out killing you. It does not delay. He yeah, he does let it finish. Uh, it doesn't delay the gas long enough to really be uh, any kind of factor. When, I mean, I guess, well, whatever. You don't see pros do it that often. Uh, as a fact, you rarely see pros do it. And the only reason you would see a pro take a gas is if he's going to cancel it and then use that drone to continue scouting if he can. Um... Staley so far on one base, getting this quick 1-1-1 one, one, one here for Staley. Um, and Blitzkrieg could be in trouble if he is not um, aware, obviously, that he didn't get to scout it because his uh, drone died on that gas. So, yeah, he hasn't seen anything. Didn't see the factory, didn't see the starport. So, no scout for Blitzkrieg. But he does have his hatchery up and running. His pool is going, getting that uh, Zergling speed upgrade. <coughs> Already Medivac's coming out here for Staley. And no... This is fascinating. We have 1-1-1 one, one, one and no add-ons whatsoever. Hellion's coming out one at a time. Medivac's coming out one at a time. It's just going to do a... F wow! Six minutes in, this is like the fastest Hellion drop I've seen. Huh. Let's see. Could be very effective. Blitzkrieg taking uh, both gases at his natural now. But, Overlord's 
good for uh, Blitzkrieg. Going to see that this drop is coming. Now, he doesn't really have... He has no units, so... All he has is queens. He's still not making units. So he obviously was not looking at the minimap. Because he's still only making drones. Wow, Blitzkrieg, you're freaking brave. Now, finally, 16 Zerglings in production. But he has already lost... Oh my god. This is ridiculous. 11 drones. 12, 13 drones. What? 13 total? 15? Oh my goodness. Sorry, I'm eating cheese. Which is delicious. So forgive my unprofessionalism won't be the first time nor the last during a cast but holy crap that was huge now what Staley should be doing here is exactly I mean this probably should have happened like eh, I guess he did alright what I was gonna say he needs to be expanding behind and look, he's teching up. He's gotten his tech labs. He added a tech. He's going to, wow, look at you. Are we going to see a Zergling counter? Here's the Banshee. There is no, um, <clears throat> no cloak in route, so we don't have to uh, worry about that. Second Banshee incoming. But of course, this Overlord can see both of them clearly so hopefully blitzkrieg is looking at his mini map um and now we have marines tanks and marauders moving out the front for staley this is um so far has just been a crazily one-sided game in the early game and i'm totally missing the banshee harass over here but there was enough queens he's made he made more queens he's continuing to make more queens so obviously he did pay attention to the minimap, so he was able to see. And again, because I'm not paying attention, the lings ran up the front and died unceremoniously. I doubt that that they took off like five. <laughs> they took off twelve hit points. And here come the banshees again. Still no cloak. Are they gonna get one of these? Nope. And roaches, roaches are out for Blitzkrieg. He did he did a pretty good job of recovering. Look, he's almost caught up with uh, roaches. Just imagine if he had 15 more roaches. He'd be so far ahead. It'd be redonkulous. 22 more Zerglings in production for Blitzkrieg. Sound, looks like he just wants to get aggressive at this point. He's got, and why not? He's got enough uh, queens at home he can protect against this Banshee harass. Why not just make a bunch of roaches and lings and go kill the Terran player? He could do it. I mean, there's not what, that much over here. Adding another reactor. Terran finally getting some upgrades. Lots of idle SCVs. I count three. Three idle SCVs. Medivac. Was there an actual drop, or is he just bringing that home? That's from the Hellion drop, I think. Spire finished for Blitzkrieg. If this is the same Blitzkrieg from, like, early Noobcast days, then he used to play Terran. As you can probably tell by the name Blitzkrieg. Macro hatch going down. And then the only reason I remember that is because when I cast his game, there was somebody in my league named Blitzkrieg. And now we have Mutas out on the field trying to hunt down this medevac. Another Banshee out. And it looks like he's just using these to scout at the moment. 
just seeing how many bases the Zerg player has. And in the meantime, Staley uh, just adding lots of Marines, a couple tanks, getting some upgrades. He really has not improved much. Looks like he's adding a bunch of starports. He's going to have three starports with reactors. So is he going for Vikings? To go against the Mutas? And he's turning up around his base, so he is playing defensively. That's a lot of turrets. Fifty-two SCVs plus mules against forty drones. Terran definitely ahead. Mutas did not even notice the giant army moving out across the middle of the map. Or they're just going to go and harass anyway. I don't think this is going to be enough here. I think there's enough... Unless he gets a really good siege and really good position, there's not going to be enough for him to kill all these roaches. But... Is he going to pull the mutas back? He is. He's going to pull the mutas back. This is not enough. Mutas come in the back... Catching the sea, the tanks unseaged. Will the mutas be able to kill the tanks? No, the mutas go down very quickly. But there's enough roaches here to come in and clean up all these marines. And Staley's going to stim and run away. Nice split of the army. Um, but now with four hatcheries, even though he's not at all macroing at this one, no injects, no nothing. I think it just popped. But there's not even any larva. And just loading up on Zerglings now, turning around and going to try to attack at the front. But there are strategically t placed tanks that are going to uh, soften up this Roach army before it even gets in the front door. And with your units bunched up like that, the last thing you want to do is walk into uh, a tank. Very surprised that he kept pushing after getting hit and not even spreading out his units and now Staley uh, looking to return some aggression with some drops the zerglings they had vision is he going to catch those medevacs here come a couple mutas now there's only two so you can drop and kill those mutas but hopefully stalling them until this other flock gets here Yeah, get some before they get all out. Are they going to get this? Yes! Blitzkrieg is able to get both of those dropships and all the Marines. And that is going to put him ahead, I think, for the first time in supply in this game. And now these mutas going into the Planetary Fortress. Going to kill some mules that just dropped. Very, very good. Uh, focus on the mule, buddy. Focus on that mule. Kill the mules. Kill the mules. Staley trying to get that uh, stutter step going. How are we doing over here at the third base? Finally saturated and getting macroized. Getting the plus two attack upgrade for those mutalisks. Definitely what you want to do. Um... I am not a proponent of upgrading only attack on Mutalisks. I think if the Terran is keeping up with his um, with his upgrades, when it looks like um, looks like Staley is trying, um, I think you need to have that carapace on the mutas if you're gonna if you're gonna use mutas against Terran. Um, obviously, you've been paying attention at all to the pro scene. Um, mutas are actually falling out of the metagame in this matchup. Um, people that are using mutalisks in um, ZVT are actually losing pretty badly. And most people are going right for Corruptor Broodlord in this matchup.
I don't know if that's true in ZVP or not. But now, um, Blitzkrieg starting to take a nice lead. He was behind. He got crushed by that early harass. Lost 15 drones. And is now... Uh, with some decent macro, he's only three bases. He could probably stand to take a fourth at this point, but he's got himself a nice little trust fund. Um, not enough gas, and that's really what b base number four is all about. Base number four is about being able to produce enough gas for your late game units, um, corruptors and broodlords, uh, or infestors, whatever route you want to take. So that you need that fourth base, and their fourth base I'm starting to sound like Star Girl. Um, and down it goes for Blitzkrieg. He's going to be able to... Oh, wow, double expanding. Uh, I definitely love the aggression. And Mutaflock coming in here, attacking this planetary fortress, but not going to get it down low enough uh, before the Marines come in and chase them off. And we do have a Viking scouting around. Going to see both of these hatcheries. So Terran's going to know he's going to have to move out sooner or later, or at least send out a dropship. Um, but he too is getting low. He's obviously no longer mining in his main. He's pretty saturated in both these bases. He could probably stand to take a fourth. Lots and lots of lings being warped in here for Blitzkrieg. And it looks like he dropped that Viking to start taking down this hatchery, but wasn't working. Lots of roach. Zerbling and muta. Mutaling roach. That's not a usual combination. Do we even have a layer? Is there a layer in the building? Yeah, of course there is. Of course there is. Can't have a spire without a layer. That's a derp. Thor's in the mix here for daily getting those ship upgrades and we've got roach speed we've got some uh, flyer defense coming in and more harass by the mutalisks a lot of turrets here but uh, turrets die very quickly to this many mutalisks obviously and he's going after the workers this time before he goes after that planetary is he gonna have enough not enough to snipe it the Thors come in before they even get off of Ali. The Mutas are gone. Um, and while... Let me just say, for the record, that while Mutalisks are falling out of the pro metagame, it does not mean that you should no longer make Mutalisks in this matchup. Obviously, because... Just because the pros aren't doing it anymore doesn't mean it's not viable for you to do. In fact, oftentimes, things that the pros don't do anymore, you... Uh, would be able to do just fine. Now, where are the Mutalisks? He needs... He must magic box. If he does not magic box those Mutas, he is dead meat. If he attacks into this. But it doesn't even look like he's going to even try. And he is uh, re-upping completely on Roach. And he should have enough here. But if he, if he sends in all those Roaches, he also has to... Um, He's got a magic box of mutas. If he moves them. Magic box, magic box, magic box. Yep, he's magic boxing. Stopping right over the Thors. Going to take them down. He is losing a fair amount of mutalisks. But now that the Thors are gone, he's able to focus down the Marines. And off he goes. Still a 20 plus supply lead. Medvac stays behind for Staley, but now, wow, that's a lot of Medvacs. Holy crap. That is eight Medvacs. Rare. Only see, you only see Marine King Prime make eight Medvacs. He does not have enough bio. Like, he just doesn't have enough bio to sustain that many Medvacs. And here they come, but he's going to try and keep these Marines alive a long time while the Thors pound away from the back. And while it's a pretty good exchange, he's not... He did magic box. Okay, I thought he wasn't going to do it. Uh, so the Mutalists are... He is able to rip through that fairly easily. And I think we are going to see a GG. And no, we're not going to see a GG. Still, just going to leave the game. But um, 
Nice play by Blitzkrieg. Staying ahead of that Terran in his macro. Doing a good job. Hope you enjoyed it. It was a wonderful pleasure. Nice to see you again, Blitzkrieg. Uh, feel free to continue to submit games. If you would like to see your games cast on Noobcast, please send an absolutely stellar replay to noobcast at gmail.com. Since I am trying to cut back on the amount of time I spend casting, um, the standards are raising. There are no more maybes. And there. And if you're borderline, it's a no. So please only send me awesome games. Um, make sure you're watching your own replays before you send them in. I do not want to waste my screener's time. Um, thanks very much for your participation. Keep climbing that ladder, guys. Peace.